Hi, it's Dr. Kanner again, and I want to recap a little bit about what we did today. Again, this is an individual, 30, 35 years old-ish, uh, has severe cervical stenosis, weakness in the arms, weakness in the legs, and our goal was to open up the spinal canal. So you can see above and below this area, plenty of room. In the area here, you can see the spinal cord is severely pinched. So instead of doing a procedure that limits mobility, the plan was to do an operation where we treat the lowest disc herniation at C67 with a fusion and to preserve all of the other joints by plastically reshaping the bone. So we fused this bone, opened up this plastically, and we changed the alignment, went from a position where the spine was curved forward to the normal position where the spine is curved into an upright position. Here's the the end result. This is before surgery. You can see that instead of the spine being in a curve this direction, it's curved forward. And here you can see after surgery, the single level fusion below, but all of these areas are open as well. And you can see these grafts right here. So what we've done is we've essentially reshaped the bones, took the arch, cut the arch, reshaped it, put a shim in to rebuild the canal but did it in a way where all of these will still move. So we fixed C2 to C7, corrected its deformity, fused the one that had to be fused, and were able to preserve the motion at all the other levels. Thank you.